We reviewed our expectations for process journals by brainstorming in small groups. This is what we've come up with. In class, we talked about what a process journal is and is not. So a process journal is a place to show the process of learning, a place to show what you have learned. Um, it needs to be purposefully done with effort, a place to reflect and to reflect on learning, to keep evidence of learning, to collect data or evidence, a place to record questions, a place to document the inquiry cycle, and to show understanding of the PYP. So a process journal is not a personal diary, recounts of events, for others' ideas, and it can't be effortless or sloppy, and it cannot be necessarily in chrono chrono chronological order, and there shouldn't be a lot of artistic decoration in it. So that's about it. After the brainstorming session, students were giving, given a rubric, and we went over it together in class. We focused on meeting expectations, the middle column. Don't worry about all of it right now, just focus on that. And we discussed what some of these terms meant. Specifically, we looked at words like documenting, okay? We know that it is a place where you're gonna document your learning. But we also talked about how it's a place to show the inquiry cycle, and that's what's meant by um, these phrases in here prior knowledge and, and um, collecting and collating and sorting your data and so forth. There are some other key phrases that you need to pay attention to. Things like consistently. Okay? So don't leave everything until the end. You do it as you go on a consistent basis. Also looking at things like detailed um, evidence. We don't want you just making jot notes here and there. We really want you to think about expanding and on what you're trying to say. What do you mean? What are you thinking about? So that, so that you can best show your thinking over time, how your thinking's changed, how your understanding has um, grown. In your journal, you want to put everything in a certain order just to start off to make sure that we haven't left anything out. So the rubric that you've been given, make sure you put that just on the inside cover. Okay, if you have this style, you might have to fold it in half, but I've just glued this one down. If you have an A4 one, it will fit. Leave this first page blank. You'll be putting a cover in there later on. Leave this next page blank. It's going to be for a, a contents page that we will do in later, maybe on the computer, we'll see. Um, you've been given a handout. We'll talk about this more later, but this is the page for that. This is about the uh, essential elements of the PYP. Leave this page blank as well. We'll be explaining that later. Don't worry about it. I've put stickies here just to remember not to put anything on this page. And then this is the page that you're going to put your mind map on. And this is just a sample of a start. It has the five different aspects that we've been um, exploring a little bit in class. If you watch the next video, one of the or a couple of students have made a quick film to explain what we did in preparation for this. Hope that gives you all the information you need to get started at home on your process journal.